High bar versus low bar squats. Now, I'm gonna be upfront with you. There's not much of a difference. However, if looking for what works best for you, there are some differences that might help you be better at one and, or better at the other, or maybe get more weight, or maybe you're powerlifting and you want to lift more weight. Bottom line is, if you have poor ankle mobility, a low bar squat will help to mitigate that. However, if you have a bad lower back, you'll probably want to go with a high bar squat. Now, high bar squat places the bar across your back on the top. That allows you to engage your core, you're gonna maintain neutral spine, which means you're looking at an imaginary object 10 feet in front of you on the ground, you're gonna come down, chest out, and come up. A low bar squat, you're gonna have it across your back, bent forward a little bit more so the bar doesn't fall off, and you're gonna come down. What that does, it engages more of your posterior chain. Hamstring, glute, lower back. So, which do I prefer? Personally, you'll see in my execution, I prefer the high bar squat. First thing, foot placement. Shoulder width, some go a little wider, some do a sumo squat. I go about shoulder width for my physiology, my years of playing sports and injuries, it's just better for me. So I'm gonna show you from the front side and from the back side, I'm gonna show you how to do both. So, the high bar squat, get under the bar, boom. See, it's right on top of my traps. Shoulder width apart with my knees. Push the knees out. And up. And down. And up. Okay, so that is high bar squat. Flip it around. Okay, come under. Boom. Okay, neutral spine. Look at an imaginary object 10 feet in front of me. Shoulder width. Grip, chest out. And up, and down, and up, all right? So, that's a high bar squat, low bar squat. Again, you're gonna naturally be pitched forward, more pressure on your lower back, could be a good or bad thing, right? Come in, come under, get way down in the back. So you have to lean forward. See how pitch forward, coming down, and up, and down, and up. Coming from the front, so you can see the degree of pitch on my back. Come in, get right, the back of your delts, your shoulders, naturally pitch forward, still keep that neutral spine. Not a big fan of those myself, but you might be. A lot of people can lift more weight with a low bar squat. Less distance between yourself, between the bar and the ground. Less distance to move. However, if looking for more posterior chain recruitment, the low bar squat is great. If looking for overall quad and glute development, the high bar squat's better. However, I don't discriminate. As long as you squat, you're good with me. Try them both, see which one you like. Let us know in the comment section below. Be sure to like this video. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Mark Lowbutter. That's not a game.